Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Spint and welcome to this geography topic called minerals. Okay, in the minerals topic, we are discussing the various minerals. So, in the part 3 of this topic, minerals, we'll discuss copper. So, copper is a non ferrous metal, right? Earlier, we have discussed iron, which is a ferrous metal, and next, we have discussed aluminium, which is a non ferrous metal, and copper is also a non ferrous metal, and it has an atomic number 29. And atomic mass 63.5 okay moving on to the facts about copper copper is a soft malleable malleable means it can be drawn into sheets and ductile it can be drawn into wires and it has high thermal and electrical conductivity it can be it is generally used in electrical and electronics industry right particularly in the wires okay and copper doesn't react with water generally but it slowly reacts with the atmospheric oxygen to form a greenish layer called uh, the brown black copper oxide you can see a green layer forming on the uh, copper okay that is of rusting of copper okay okay moving on to some more facts about copper we need copper in our diets okay even plants need copper in their diets so like iron we also need copper in our Diets. Generally, people we are nowadays we are seeing copper bottles, right? So when we consume copper, it is one of the minerals which we need, and they are also for crucial for the formation of red blood cells. And generally, they are used in the electrical and electronic industry. Moving on to copper as one of the products. So generally, copper is also used in the making of stainless steel along with iron, nickel, chromium copper chromite etc St when we mix all these things we get different types of stainless steel there are different types of stainless steel so that's why i'm not mentioned how much iron is used okay we have anthracitic andesitic uh, martensitic stainless steels okay different types of composition of iron is used in different types of stainless steels generally stainless steel is uh, made to uh, these alloy is made to resist the corrosion right and next when copper is mixed with nickel we get more metal moral metal sorry and when copper is mixed with aluminium we get duralumin and when the copper is mixed with zinc it is called brass and when the copper is mixed with tin it is called as bronze this is very important copper and zinc is brass copper and tin is bronze okay so they may ask you when i mix with copper the zinc with copper what happens it is brass copper and tin is bronze okay and next copper distribution in india where does copper is present in india the highest uh, state copper growing state or copper found in a state called rajasthan it accounts around 50 percentage of total copper reserves in the country and next comes madhya pradesh and next is jharkhand Okay, so highest reserves is copper means you have to remember Rajasthan like uh, bauxite or aluminium for Odisha. Okay, and the next, so moving on to the state wise reserves and production. So generally in Rajasthan we have Aravallis, right, the oldest uh, mountains in the India. So I, they are found along the Aravalli range and Ajmer, Alwar, Bilwara, Chittorgarh, Durg. Dungarpur, Jaipur, Junjunu, all these are very famous for the copper mines. And next, Khetri and Singana built in Junjunu district is very important copper producing area in Rajasthan. And moving on to Madhya Pradesh. In Madhya Pradesh, we have Malanjkand. Malanjkand copper mines are very famous, which are present in the Balgarh district. And reserves of moderate size of copper are also found in Betul district or Betul district of Madhya Pradesh. Malanjkand is a very important copper mine in Balaghat. Okay, Hindustan Copper Limited is also located in Malanjkand. Next is Jharkhand. In Jharkhand, we have Singbam district. I have already told you, iron ore is very famous in Singbam district. We also see the copper mineral in the Singbam district of Jharkhand. And it, uh, copper is also found in Hazaribagh district, Santal, Parganas, and Palamau districts of Jharkhand. And regarding world copper distribution, how the copper is distributed in the various parts of the world. The highest uh, distribution is in Chile. Chile is in its capital is Santiago, right? It is in South America. Next is Australia and next is 
Peru and one of the copper mines in Chile you can see it is somewhat reddish in color okay copper mine is generally reddish in color so this is the topic about copper we'll meet in the next topics thank you